now what we want to do is we want to create the windows and we want to also insert the windows and the doors and then the hatch now for the window i'll be using a block that i created which is located in my library in case you need blocks for doors windows and other uses you can simply download them on autocad block.com there are some really nice and cool blocks there that you may enjoy using especially for doors windows and other finishes so i'll be choosing a block that i personally created for the window it's however a dynamic block in case you don't know what a dynamic block is it is simply a block that is interactive by design and editable in use now let's try to insert the block we can insert the window by choosing this window this window is actually a 1200 by 1200 window and also a dynamic block we can place the window like this we can take it again and move it to fit into the corner of the wall as shown however when you look at the drawing you see that the window isn't on that edge and we need to adjust that and while the window is 1200 mm it is offset from the edge by 900 mm which means from here it is going to be offset by 900 minus 225 then we have 450 and another window of 1200 implying that we can subtract 225 from 900 to get the distance of the window from the edge of the wall now the distance as shown is 675 mm and we can simply move the window by that value now to draw the other window we can simply copy the first and paste at a distance of 1200 plus 450 away from the first window as shown so we'll be moving it by a total of 1650 picking our reference from the end of the first window as shown then we try to measure the dimension and position of our windows to see if they correlate with the existing plan and as you can see it's perfect this also helps us to ensure that errors are eliminated and not compounded in our drawing and as you can see 450 between both windows it's exactly what we have on our existing plan now we want to create this 100 toilet window and as you can see on the existing plan it's flushed with the wall we have this block which is actually dynamic and that's why you see the arrows and points on it they indicate the points of reference for adjusting or manipulating the block to required measurement and orientation 